what do we do to deserve this? I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not saying it's a bad game, it's just, you know, we like to talk about sandboxes and toys here at the Hooligans, and we came to Ubisoft's toy box, they were like, hey, check out these great toys, check out these great games, I got the original fucking Starscream and shit, and we're like, yeah, baby! Let's go! And they bring out the Demolitionator, or whatever the fuck it was called, mm -hmm. you remember? Devastator? Devastator, yeah, we're putting them together, and we're just, we're just like, yeah, Optimus Prime gonna save the world with Jesus next to him! Because, yeah. you know, yeah. And, and then suddenly Ubisoft kicked sand in our faces, took his toys, and went home. Why, Ubisoft? Did we sleep with your mom? Did you... Is this some kind of weird vengeance thing? I mean, it's almost like... I swear, it's almost like... You know, like they just said, Here you go. Here is the keys to fucking Gypsy Danger. Oh! Have that. Okay. And then halfway through the damn mission, all of a sudden, it's fucking Gundam Stardust memory and shit, and we're stuck in the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just don't know what we did. What was it you said? What, what did we do to deserve this? What did we do to deserve this? And you said... We bought, bought the game. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, that's a good line. <laughs> Suffice it to say, though, that's exactly what this is. Why, Ubisoft... Some of the negatives. Well, you saw it earlier yourselves. You know what I hate above all? Plot armor. I'm here. That is some of the laziest writing you will ever see in a video game, in a book, anything. If a motherfucker's got plot armor, dude, you had him in in your sights. You straight mm -hmm. shot those motherfuckers, and they're just like, oh, we oh, we oh, um. You know, and it's like, fucking dude, really? They were glowing. You know, if they weren't glowing, I could see that plot armor working. Like. Maybe they're special. Maybe they have some kind of anti-nectar powers. Or, or a drug that isn't nectar. What are you I would have loved to have seen that. But instead, no. No explanation. Just plot armor. The other thing. Some of the textures suck. You know, this came out three years after the PS3. <coughs> and it should show... Again, only... like, again, like we said. This came out in 2008. Yeah. You want to know what I was playing in 2008? Because I was too damn broke to afford a PS3. What were you playing? I was playing God Hand on the PS2. And it still has better textures in this game at points. You know, I do expect a certain level of goodness, you know? Now, with that stated, though, and there are other negatives, like glitchy grenades sometimes, uh, the characters may spaz out every now and then, or the lip syncing isn't synced up properly. Um, one of the things I want to bring up and broach is, um, some of the, one of the storyline elements. While this game does massively suffer from some serious plot hole issues and plot armor, there are moments of rather sublime, almost, playability. Uh, playing as a rebel later on, you have to protect this ICBM-like like missile. You know, it's a fucking missile, it's a big-ass missile. And you're riding Vanguard, you know what I mean? Hey, you can jump on the machine gun and gun him down. <laughs> Go have some fun, my friend. Oh, some of you are alright? There you go, have some fun. <clears throat> so suffice to say, you gotta cross this bridge, and at one point in time, they're just throwing mantle soldiers at your ass. And mind you, by now, I have rocket launch air. I'm destroying fucking helicopters! <laughs> just right off the bat, without even fucking getting onto the bridge yet. <coughs> That's yours, isn't it? No. Oh, whoops. You'll never go home to your families to hug your children again! So anyway, <laughs> um, so that was a really fun segment for me. Was playing that. At one point in time, they force you into a chase scene. That's fairly good. You run across a couple of towns though that are less than um, fun. <laughs> and then you got, like I said, in the beginning of this, where you're just oppressing brown people. These are all really fun segments. But um, there's another segment though that really kind of brings it out of you emotionally. And that's uh, when you capture Skin Coat, the guy that's leader of the rebels. He kind of looks and talks like Gervais Saint Germain or the the, the world's most in, um, interesting man. You know what I mean? How long did that grenade take? Fuck. Oh, you died. And look at that! Look at that fucking glitching! What the fuck? But okay, so you got skin coat. Those other four fucking uh, dudes show up and they're like, yeah, they're kicking them around a little bit. And they tell you, the, the guy who's, who you're, who's gonna be your enemy in the future, mm -hmm. tells you to go into the other elevator, and they drag the skin coat into that one. They start beating the shit out of him. Like, wait a minute. 
<coughs> the whole point was to capture his skin coat. You did that. What the fuck is this guy doing? He just fucking loses it. He fucking, they, they beat the shit out of skin coat, and then they hold him down and cut his fucking, what? His, his, like two what? fingers? I got wood. Oh shit! <laughs> Do you see how far that guy went back though? Holy shit, that was awesome. So suffice it to say, <coughs> like I said, there's a scene where Skin Coat's screaming and they're just holding him down. This is for some battle. This is for some other battle. You know, I'm all for vengeance. You guys should know this about me. I hold a mean fucking grudge for a very long time. I've kind of been saying, I've kind of had issues like that, you know? But that's the way I do. That's what I do. Anybody who knows me knows that's what I do. I don't forgive easily, if at all. But you know, when you have a mission, when you have a goal to obtain, it is far more heroic to simply take that motherfucker in than it is to torture your damn self without orders, beyond, you know, extra to the mission. If you've gone beyond the mission like that, that's not good. That isn't fucking honorable. That's not showing that you're better than them. And this, I mean, to see that happen to me, that really did fucking, like Ace said, that was the dog scene in Django Unchained. <coughs> when they released the dark, a D'Artagnan motherfucker. Yeah. The fact that he was able to do that later on. Yeah. I would have done that for Skin Coat, and I didn't even. I barely liked the motherfucker. I liked him later on, but then the ending happens, and it's kind of stupid. Let's not get into it too much. Honestly, it's one of those things where you're playing through this game. I mean, this this is how it was for me. Mm -hmm. I'm playing through this game, and again, although I'm not much, I'm not necessarily one for first-person shooters, but. I was starting to like this game a little bit. You know, all the, all the bro nanigans. Yeah, and, and some of the bro nanigans are fucking so high. They are so well done. Now, so I read, I started liking this game, and then this game happened. <laughs> the rest of the game happened. Yeah, you know, um, I've read from. Oh my god, yeah, bro. I've read from other reviewers that they really disliked the uh, voice acting. And while I have mentioned once again the lip syncing issues. <coughs> Ultimately, I actually think they did a pretty good job. Like, once again, oh my god, did you see him punch that guy? This is like a cartwheel. Oh, yeah! Okay, double tap. That was a double tap? Ish. Double unload. So, suffice it to say. <laughs> double tap ish. Double tap ish. Double tap all over his face. But, um. <laughs> so, yeah, the game does shine in certain segments, in certain places. I think I fell off that cliff, by the way. I think I did. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. I'm, say, I'm seriously tempted to. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. So, the game does have its points where it shines. But then you got things like the hilariously, fucking nefariously stupid AI. Some of the dumbest fucking artificial intelligence. I've ever come across in a fighting game of any sort. Last time, last time I dealt with AI, this dumb, this unwholesomely stupid, was playing Final Fantasy XII. Ah! <laughs> I had to, to run through the freaking Ester Sand, and Bossler one runs up and aggro's a fucking end tight. <laughs> Needless to say, we got oh. destroyed. Oh shit! You know, stupid AI. That bad. Stupid Fucking AI. Bossler bad. <laughs> Bossler. Stupid AI happens, but when the entire game is like that, I have issues. This isn't as bad as say Colonial Marines, Aliens vs Predator, but it's up there. Sometimes these guys will step into your line of fire. Sometimes they'll kill you. Can I put Duval out of my misery right now? Not yet. He's got plot armor. Thank you. Yeah, I think. Try it. We're at the point where we just don't care anymore. <laughs> Plot armor. Oh, <coughs> sad face. He literally <laughs> just fucking shrugged it off. I think he can kill the other guys though. Sad face. Oh, actually, no. Two of them also have plot armor. So suffice it to say, this game uh, visual. I mean, audio visual. We already talked about the texture issues. It's not that bad, but it's also not that good. They could have really... I mean, Time Splitters was better than this. They could have really done a better job. And then there's the Bronanigans. Audio-wise, the music is meh, but the sounds are actually pretty good to me. They're very clear. And the voice acting, once again, I argue with the other people who dislike it. 
I say this shit's actually pretty good. And you know what? You can't have the bro nanigans without the proper bros. You know what I mean? Did you see the pilot? I can't believe those little rats got away with our nectar. With our medicine! Did you see the pilot? <clears throat> The other issue that I have with this game is that uh, it starts off with a cutscene that's like a fucking rendered movie and has nothing to do really with the game. And he looks like Tom Cruise and that annoys the fuck out of me. If you leave them both, they'll both die. So you could save one, but the other would still die. What do you do? Yeah, they got some interesting battlefield philosophy here. Right? Of course. You prioritize. Now you're asking me about something that was not a priority. So the cutscenes in this isn't looking. that bad, I would like to point out. So they at least use what appears to be, I think, in-game rendered, um, in-game sprites and such, you know? This is, so at least it's not like they're doing, like, uber amazing cutscenes and then crappy gameplay. We've seen that in the past with other games. At least they didn't give us that. But Ubisoft really did kind of... Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. What for dinner? Same as yesterday. Shit kicks and elbow grease. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's been throwing grenades on the damn deck. The other thing this game kind of well, I'm just saying it, it's never mind. <laughs> so, audio, visual, storyline, you know, half uh, one third of the way into the game, you're kind of forced to swap. Um, in fact, I think we're kind of close to it. You're forced to swap line, swap, swap sides. It's not even in a way that is too believable to me, but it's believable enough. You know, it's the eventual downfall of those who do Nectar. But at the and you're just lucky because your suit was fucked up in the beginning. That blood, that blood abnormality. Oh, I mean the not the not the bloodstream abnormality, but the other one. The... Yeah, and then something else happens in a cutscene where your suit's basically damaged and it stops administering you, and it doesn't administer the full amount. <coughs> Oh, here we go. But honestly, you know, this if they had given me a choice to join the Rebel Alliance or go be fucking a Sith, I would be fucking Darth Vader, motherfucker. I would be force choking bitches for looking at me wrong. I would be kicking dogs. Making them blow up. I'm just saying. I would be fucking nice to the old Republic all over that motherfucker. I mean, you mentioned Star Wars, and I mean, even the... Even the, I guess you could say, face heel turn that freaking that Star Killer takes in the Force Unleashed. Yeah, is plenty more believable than this. Well, with this one, it's just oh, he sees through the nectar because his his, his suit is accidentally damaged and nobody notices that. And then later on, you get to learn the truth of the nectar. Actually, in this upcoming map, you get to learn the truth of the nectar. And you know. <clears throat> I'd rather just choose to go with the Nectar. Uh, even if it was a d uh, unhappy end, you're gonna die, but you get to kill all the bad guys. What's you get to stop Mantle. Okay, give me the chance to keep the suit on, keep getting Nectar, keep getting juiced up, lose weight, feel great. I'm on that shit. I want to weight watch these niggas to death. I want to fucking get these guys and kill them. Why, why are we sending heavy arm squads? We just have to secure the <coughs> I just really... Really wish I could have stayed with the mantle the entire game, but if there was a meaning to it, storyline-wise, just to throw this out there, guys. Yeah, you beat the mantle, you destroy this guy, um, you kill the other two, and then you uh, get to give Skin Coat the the keys to the country, basically, by giving him this fucking mobile fortress. And by the way, the entire stock of nectar. The man reveals that he is going to use nectar in a proper manner. Unlike those animals yeah, of Mantle. Get you switch sides and you figure out that you're fighting for the same Don't evil. A now, a lot of people say, and even it's on, mentioned on the wiki, I think, the wiki pedo, yeah. that there, it was scheduled to have a sequel, but because the game did so poorly, which it did at $60, you, love anyone? you know what I mean? I mean, they were supposed to do a sequel. Well, that's all well and good, but you know, this is one of those situations where... Sometimes it is proper to do a sequel hook. If you have a game that is so good, you can throw a sequel hook out there. National Treasure 1. A lot of people dislike the ending of, oh, when they start talking about the other thing and after they got the mission of independence. Which, according to my schedule, Nicolas Cage should be gingerly uh, working his way towards stealing the, independent, the, the Constitution by now. The Declaration of Independence. And then he's going to smoke it. Because Nicolas Cage is crazy. I like him. So, <clears throat> you're an ape. A monkey. 
<coughs> Nigga, are you calling me? Oh, anyway. <laughs> See, I mean, this game is kind of racist. I'm just saying. I'm a monkey, you're a monkey. But you won't be prioritizing based on how you feel about things anymore. Ah, shit, this guy. You'll be doing so anyway, how things actually are. let's see. So, the, yeah, the sequel dying, hook. Well, they have that sequel hook of, oh, it looks like you're going to turn against like uh, Skin Coat with. now and kill him in the, in the sequel. Is, well, why couldn't they just handle it here? The the, yeah, they could have left They could have left a dangling don't sequel hook, but nothing that fucking major. Use a little bit of subtlety. They didn't have to at point blank have him say, oh, well, I'll, I know how to use the, the nectar properly. Oh, well, thank you. I've been fighting this whole time for another motherfucker. Now I'm going to have to kill you. And once again, plot armor. Oh. Time to get on that chase. <coughs> this is a fun chase for me, personally. So, what am I thinking about now? Oh, yes, here we go. So, that's basically the storyline in a nutshell. You become the thing you hate. Literally. You think Mantle's bad? At least you got Nectar fighting for Mantle. Well, yeah, we've pretty much covered that. The driving segments are were kind of. Plus, uh, no matter what difficulty I was on, I, I never really got to see the Rebels play dead with me. Of course, I killed them, so that kind of didn't help me. Do it! <laughs> uh, kick him, kick him. Or that. He ain't playing dead now. So, <laughs> <coughs> there's no DLC to this. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am, and honestly, I wouldn't want there to be. I wouldn't care enough. Neither should you. At sixty dollars coming out, this is not worth it. Um, let's see: video, audio, visual, storyline, gameplay, DLC, price point, dirt. Where did we get this from? Reset Games. Where could, where should you get this from? Where the fuck you want? All I'm saying is, if you're paying more than five bucks for this game, you're getting ripped. You're getting ripped hard. Not even normal. I picked this game up for on a fluke because it said two fifty under the sticker. This game, from what I can tell, retails for like five fifty. That's a pretty good thing, and honestly, this game wasted out maybe like three to five hours of my time! <laughs> reverse, motherfucker, reverse! I forgot how to reverse. <laughs> oh, we'll find out once I can... I think that's any time. Thing. Wrong side, wrong side. Now, you know, this game does have a rather interesting drop-in co-op. Uh, up to four players can play the game. And yeah, as you can tell right now, there's four segments to this car. Welcome and having people at your back is a lot nicer than having the idiot AIs at your back. With that stated though, only one person's gonna get the cutscene. So that's... I think that's just more laziness, honestly. I mean, there's just no call for that kind of shit. If, all, if you got four co-op in it, you know, let them all have a good time. Don't just let them be waiting and shit. Welcome. Now, can you imagine four bros, hell, you, me, two Asian for you, <laughs> playing on this shit and having a good old time? Shit. Welcome <laughs> We'd all, you'd hear nothing but BOOSH every three seconds from us. Fuck. Welcome there should be a way to reverse. Oh, this game is so fucking retarded. <laughs> Did it work though? Oh god. Oh god! This fucking game, man. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> oh. Let's see. DLC gameplay price point. Yeah, uh, you know, I think we've actually covered everything we really need to cover with this game. I finally found the oh, reverse. There it is. <clears throat> Bugger. You know, outside of that though, this game actually is kind of fun. Oh no, no! Until you become a rebel, and it's just it, you. It sucks out all the fun. You know, I think we... Did we mention this already on camera? I don't know. Suffice it to say, the, the hype of it all was about the Nectar. Oh, you want to get pumped up and want to go kill brown people and fucking, you know, fuck around and cool toys and get cool weapons and shoot things with? And we're all nodding our heads going, Yeah! Yeah! Give us the goods! <coughs> and then they gave you the goods, and then they take it away after about one-third of playing it. And it's like, oh, Really? Fucking really? There's just no excuse for that kind of shit, and I still don't understand who thought it was a good idea. Who honestly? And you know what's the worst part? They'll even hype it up in the um, if you don't touch it and it's it's the cutscene in the intro, you know? They'll hype it up like playing dead, and it's like, you think that's a good thing? 
Do you think that's hype? Not just running over people and making them go squish with my car? Or, I mean, hell, Brutal Legend gave you a better first-person shooter experience than this. I mean, honestly, there are. But there's better. There's better. There's better shooters out there. There's better shooters for the fucking for the PS One. Y'all remember Power Stone or whatever it was, where you got where it was like all ancient Egyptian and fucking you know they had like all it was basically like playing Stargate, the first-person shooter. It was awesome. Oh, freaking Apocalypse. Yes, Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willie! Bruce Willis, my jam. But seriously, there, there are better shooters out there. You're probably playing one of them right now while watching this. But like Galaga. <laughs> uh, but. That's, a, that's if you consider the price point at $60. This is the $2.50 review. You know, this, for $2.50, I got to enjoy three to five hours. And I'm not gonna say enjoying that I like the Rebel part, because honestly, I just kept going back and playing. I beat the game, yeah. And then I did nothing but play as the uh, Super Soldier. Oh, look, the jalopy smoking. Jalopy still smoking. So yeah, for $2.50, this game is worth it to me. But for... $60? No. No! No! Thought I heard music for a moment. So, anyway. You know, I think we're ready to go to the live feed. What say you? You ready to go to the outro? You want to stop playing this fucking game? Because honestly, there's probably more that we're forgetting. Oh, somebody threw a grenade at you. There's probably more that we're forgetting! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Yeah. And now we can go back to the <laughs> You know, this is my fault. This was my fault, and I, as a man, I accept responsibility for this being my fault. You know, when we first started this, this is supposed to be the 250 review, and it is! This game kind of lives up to it. I'm going to, out of principle, say that, you know, I, this, I will not agree with Ace on that this is a waste of my $2.50, I got three hours of play out of this, maybe five, I don't know, I don't even remember. Actually, wait, you wanna know what you could get you wanna know what you could get for two dollars and fifty cents? <coughs> what? You could get yourself two McDoubles and an apple pie. And that shit what? will no. fill no, that will for fill you up. Yes. What? Oh. That, that, will, that will fill you up. That will last you for two hours. Hey, You'll get some a, nourishment. But it's out a three of or five and McDonald's ain't nourishment, my brother. But it is going to fill you up. Compared to this? Uh, suffice it to say, I was going to start off with a five. Because until we started playing it, I kept talking about, like, oh, Superman steroids, fucking roid rage up, and oppress brown people. It and, delivers. And the bro nanigans. And the bro nanigans. <laughs> He's still playing. And, and you're still playing. You're still playing. But we sat here talking between when we, when we break off into the live feed. We were talking about... Although, hey, something to think about. Is it really live feed if we're recording it right now? Does this count as live feed? I don't think it's live. Eh, it's, it's a... The camera feed, the different feed. Suffice it to say, we're sitting here talking about how the, the degree of how bad this game is. And I went straight... When I thought about that, I'm a man of principle. I am not going to say this is a waste of $2.50. Would I tell somebody else that they should buy, buy and play this game? Um, yeah, if it's five bucks, five fifty. But if you have to add shipping onto that, no, no. Because of Ace, because of my principles, because of this game and how buggy some of these nades are. I don't remember the grenades being this buggy, buggy with me, but like he was killing himself and having a, he he was having a better time killing himself in this game. Fucking, you know, getting that fucking dune buggy or that box cart onto the mountain and then throwing grenades at a motherfucker. And the worst part about it is. Like, three of them went up, one of them exploded on top of the ridge, and then we couldn't find the other two, and then it suddenly blew up like five minutes later. I'm just like, really? So I went from a five to a three. Fuck you, fuck this fucking game. Fuck the second half of this fucking game. The first half is fun, play it. It's worthy of, it's worthy of like 20 minutes of your time. 30, maybe. Anything beyond that? No, this game ain't worth it. This game is not, and I'm going to give it a three. Ace, what's your brass tacks looking like? Three. Of course, to be to be perfectly honest, oh here it comes. This is all the game deserves. But what are you gonna give it? 
considering that it is two dollars fifty cents. It's two dollars and fifty cents, and <laughs> for that value, yeah, you can at least have some fun. Again, you know, offing yourself with grenades or getting <laughs> crushed under the buggy. You know, we tried getting him to do the head dive. I remember jumping off a cliff on this motherfucker in the doom buggy. Because eventually I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to start like pushing the limits of what I can do with a video game. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, it's just... It's one for the history books, at least. This is our first game we've done under, like, I think, seven. Um, and it was something like this. Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Didn't we give that a... I thought we gave that a... Oh, you're right. That was like a five. Yeah, that, oh, that, was, that one was lower. <coughs> well, suffice it to say, here's one that can join the... Stop that! Who can join the... Oh, look at the cute cat friends! <laughs> Street Fighter Cross Tekken was ranked pretty low with us, and now we have Hayes. I'm not going to say that it's a bad game. I just don't like the second half, the the, the two thirds, the later two thirds. I mean, and honestly, if you've got a game where it like holds it holds your attention so tight fistedly for the first act, and then. And then acts two and three, you might as well be sitting there getting chewed on by freaking schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you've done did something wrong. Get off. Me. <laughs> two minutes later, <laughs> but suffice it to say, it's it's it is what it is. It's a three. It is solidly a three, and. uh... It needed to be done. This needed to be done. You know, most of the times the games we we play, we really enjoy. But every now and then, it's you get happy a, fun times. But every now and then, you do get a game where you put money on it, and you're like, why? And then you have to go back and choke somebody. This game isn't really like that because it's two dollars and fifty cents. So you know, you you don't you don't feel like you have to go back and choke somebody, but you just have to sit back and go, what? You know, Why? I'm not even that... I mean, I'm in, don't get it twisted. I'll eat the McDonald's every now and then. Everybody should. Just once in a while, go out and eat something that's bad for you. But at the same time, uh, I just... I, I wouldn't even say... I would just say go to 7-Eleven, get you some fucking taquitos or something. God damn. But $2.50, it's a three-star. It's a three-whatever. As Ace tries new ways of killing himself, I can't shoot out the tires. And you know what? The, the biggest reason why I dropped it from a 5 to a 3? Plot armor. That is bad. That is lazy. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm not, it's not like, oh my god, you should be able to kill everybody. <laughs> it's not an ace. Let's just drop it, drop it. It's not like you should be able to kill everyone, but at the same time, it's a, it's a first person shooter. It kind of ruins the immersion of it. And yes, of oppressing brown people. So let's face it. Hey, you enjoyed it. You were like, look at how hard I punched that guy. You cannot stop there and say, well, that's racist. Motherfucker, you were stomping him just as hard as I was. Just <laughs> <laughs> this game is a game of diamonds in the rough. But I don't like it when I have to look that deep to find the fucking fun. I mean, it, it, it's not like... Dark Souls or Demon Souls, where you know you're just gonna get your ass kicked. You're gonna die. It's not like Dragon's Dogma, where you know you get warnings. Don't go out after it. Get, you know, your ass better be inside when the street lights come on. This has nothing to do with anything like that. With the with ramped up levels in a game, this is purely a game that should come with a warning sign. You will not enjoy the latter two thirds. If you play this game, you, you will not in enjoy this. It will not be over quickly. But the first third is perfectly fun and fine, and hell, bring the kids, let them watch as you fuck up Fidel Castro and all his homeboys. Whatever, that shit was fun. Punch a nigga, watch a fucking cartwheel and ragdoll and shit. That shit was hilarious. But everything else... But then after that, they just... It's like you're sitting there enjoying it, and they just walk up, kick your dog, rip the seat from under you, snatch the controller and go, you don't play this no more. You don't deserve it. Why? Why don't we deserve it, Ubisoft? You slept with my mom! She was good. Apparently, she better have been good to make us deserve this kind of shit. Ubisoft, shame on you for putting South for 60 bucks to begin with. Yeah, that was only four years ago. That is still a black mark on your record. Yeah. You know what else came out fucked up four years ago? Oh, I don't even think it was four years ago. We fight across Tekken. No. I don't like that. No. <clears throat> you wanna know what came out perfectly fine? Five years ago? What? Street Fighter 4. 
and at least once a year since then, we've had updates to it. Updates. Let's not get started on Street Fighter. We should really hit up Street Fighter 4 sometime and the bullshit DLC tactics of Capcom, which has rendered them impotent and unable to play in the arena with the big boy video game developers, by the way. What was it, 125 million, 12 million in the bank, that's it. Oh, what should we do? It, the, the DLC practices that fucked us up? We should commit ourselves to more DLC practices. Alright! We'll be getting down to that eventually, but, uh, hey. Look forward to seeing us again next week with another review straight off the presses, coming right at you from the rough house. Something that ain't fucking hate. Yeah. But so, uh, until then, as always, I'm Blazing Ace Nelson. I am that bastard. And we, we are, are the hooligans. <laughs> and you're not. Take it easy, folks. Seriously, this game sucks. <laughs> It fucking sucks.
Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! And now we can go back to the <laughs> Why couldn't it be Dragon's Crown? Why couldn't we be playing that again? What what about fucking Duel Legend? We did a great job last week with that shit. You fucking why couldn't it be fucking Dragon Age Two? It's pretty bad. What I'm saying, I pl I yeah, played that's... Dragon Age Two more than I played this. Like this seriously, this game just sucks. Three. It deserves a three though, and for two dollars fifty cents, I I can't really I say that's that bad. No, no. For two dollars and fifty cents for a game that gets a three, I miss Soul Calibur Five. <laughs> What the fuck you looking at? Nigga, turn it off! What the fuck?